premature babies are at very high risk for a rare disease called necrotizing enterocolitis. The intestine becomes inflamed, sometimes infected, and then becomes necrotic or dead. Most people have never heard of necrotizing enterocolitis. And so too many families learn about NEC for the first time when their baby is actually being diagnosed. I lost my son to complications of necrotized enterocolitis when he was 11 months old. Since losing Micah, I've connected with families and providers from all over the world working on NEC. And we all have the same goal. We want to get these fragile babies strong enough so they can thrive at home with their families. Families want and need as much information as possible. They want to know the potential risk and the protective factors that are associated with necrotized enterocolitis so that they can become an informed and empowered member of their baby's care team. I don't want families to think that they're a visitor or a spectator, especially when we have like these extreme micropremies and they're in the isolates. They feel like all they can do is just sit there and watch from outside. They are actually an integral part in the patient's care. So I show them different ways of doing like skin to skin or infant bonding because that helps with both the infant and the parent. We, we know babies, but parents know their babies. Because they're so involved in the care, they want to know, well, what, can I, what else can I do to either prevent this from happening, or if it does happen, what, what would be my role? One of the most effective ways to reduce the risk of necrotizing enterocolitis is through mother's milk. For mothers who are able to produce lactation support that's provided early and consistently is critical to helping mothers to understand how mother's milk can protect their baby from devastating complications like necrotized enterocolitis. Mothers in the NICU have to hand over nearly all of their baby's care responsibilities to professionals, and that is really hard. So providing milk gives mothers a sense of self-efficacy and empowerment as they're able to give their baby something that no one else can. Nurses provide life-saving medications, and moms can provide life-saving breast milk. If a mom is able to produce her own milk, those babies' risk of neck drops by about half. Her baby will grow better, have a lower risk of necrotizing enterocolitis, a lower risk of infection, and better brain development. But we've learned over the last decades that the more involved families are, the better their babies do. Parents who are frequently at the bedside, who are caring for their babies over many hours, often notice when something's not right. So I always value when parents share with me not just their questions, but their concerns, their observations. That way we can work together to provide the very best care for your baby. When um, you have a set of caregivers that are constantly caring for a patient, you're just able to pick up on things a lot faster. It builds a rapport and it builds confidence in not only the nursing staff, um, but in the parents as well. While we cannot eliminate the risks of necrotized enterocolitis, there are ways that we can reduce the risks. We can empower families and we can build multidisciplinary collaborative care teams. We hope you'll join us as we raise awareness, improve outcomes, and drive neck research. You can learn more at necksociety.org and neck zero.